Hi there, Colin here from Moon Ninja. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the WooCommerce extension for the Gipic that I built. We're going to discuss how to set up the plugin and get everything set up, sync in some products from I think Gipic and also set up your first product to sell. I'm going to assume before starting this video that you are familiar with WordPress, that you're also familiar with WooCommerce. If you're not, I'll include some links uh, to get up to speed. But the first thing to do is to uh, check your plugins and check what's active. Um, I've installed WooCommerce. I've also installed the WooCommerce extension for Thinkific. That's my plugin and the Stripe gateway. I'm using Stripe to process my payments. Um, your setup may look different to mine, but the core plugins you're going to need are WooCommerce and the WooCommerce extension for Thinkific. Once you verify those plugins are installed and set up, move over to settings here and choose Thinkific WooCommerce. And here we have a few things to fill out. The first and foremost is going to be your subdomain. This is the subdomain of Thinkific, your original uh, domain. So for example, it would be example.thinkific.com. The subdomain you're going to use is example. If you're not sure where to find this, again, just check the links in the documentation below. It'll show you where to find it on the Thinkific site. Below this, you're going to need the API key. Again, this comes from Thinkific and your license key from Woo Ninja. And when everything there is set up, just click save. And then you can go ahead and activate your license by clicking right here. The button below here to sync from Thinkific, what it'll do, it'll pull all the courses and bundles that you have on Thinkific into your WooCommerce site. This takes about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your setup and how many courses and bundles you have. If you click it, don't worry, it won't overwrite anything in WooCommerce, it'll only import anything new. So therefore, if you wanna come back and do this later on, that's perfectly fine. If you add a whole bunch of courses and you wanna pull them in in one go, this is a great button to remember and to use. So coming up to WooCommerce itself, uh, let's just open up products. I've created a few products um, just as examples. Uh, this is my sandbox course, for example, management. We've got an admin course, and we've got an accounting uh, course as well. So let's just take a look at the accounting 12-month course. I'm going to edit that and kind of show you some of the key features to plug in and how to get started. So a couple of boxes to bring your attention to, the Thinkific WooCommerce settings. This is the core um, settings that you'll need to verify. So when a user buys this particular product, they're gonna get enrolled in the accounting course. If I open the drop down, you can see these are all the courses that are available on my Thinkific site, and it supports courses and bundles. So I'm gonna be selling the accounting course. Uh, I'm going to create an enrollment. What that means is when the user buys this particular product in WooCommerce, they're gonna get enrolled in this course in Thinkific, and I can set the days to expiry. I can leave this blank if there's no expiry. I generally don't recommend that. If you want to give a year's worth of access, it'd be 365, it's measured in days. Below this, we have a button for syncing data from Thinkific. And I'll get into that in another video, but effectively what this means is we pull in all the data from the Thinkific API, which allows us to use that on the Thinkific team and also display it. And again, I'll come back to that in a other video. We also have the option to enable an Illumini discount. So if a user has previously bought a course, they'll get a discount. Again, I'll come back to that in a later video. And we're gonna disable Thinkific coupon generation that is for selling coupons, which again, I'll touch on in a later video. Below this, we can see some information, for example, the product data. Again, this is the developer level data, which we'll discuss in the theming video. And here we have the course content. Again, this pulls in the course content from Thinkific API, which again, allows us to use this on the front end. And I'll touch on that in the theming video. Below this, we're gonna set it up exactly like we would a normal WooCommerce product. So for example, I can set the price when it's virtual, set the tax, etc. So once that's ready to go, we can click update. And what it's gonna do is it's going to uh, update our product and put it onto our website. And there we go. We're now ready to sell this particular product to our consumers. And when they buy it, they're gonna get enrolled and get a year's worth of access. In the next couple of videos, we'll explore the plugin in more detail, but that's a quick fire way to get set up and start selling products with WooCommerce or Thinkific.